Hello, my name's Aaron. And I'm Michael. And you're watching Auto E-Clinic. We'd like to welcome you to our special pumpkin edition. Today we have an 06 Chevrolet Cobalt. The vehicle came in with a P0326. In this case, that code meant knock sensor problem. Now we drove the vehicle, we looked at data, we saw nothing wrong with the vehicle, the way it drove, or the data looked fine, everything looked good. So then we started looking through TSB's technical service bulletins. We did find a technical service bulletin relating to this issue, exactly this issue, calling the, the P0326 a phantom code. Now with this technical service bulletin, there is a relearn for the PCM, which we're going to have to reflash the PCM with new software from GM. Now we're able to do that with a universal programmer. In this case, we're using the Pass Through Pro. Now it is a J2534. And you can get a J2534. There's a lot of companies that make them. You can pick one up online or maybe even your local tool truck will have one. And then you hook it to your computer and then it allows you to reprogram the vehicle. And we're gonna show you how to do that. To have a Cat5 ethernet cable to plug from your computer to the J programmer. We're gonna go ahead and plug that in. And then you plug your J programmer into the OBD2 port on the car. Make sure the vehicle is on. We have our J2534 program installed on our computer. We're gonna open that up. Okay. Now we're in the J2534 toolbox. You can go to read your part number under the GM selection. We're gonna read our part number. While this is doing that, we're gonna go ahead and log in to the AC Delco TDS website. Okay, let me back that up for you. Once you log in, under the menu, go to service and programming information. You're going to go down to service programming only. Now we've already bought our subscription, so right here, once you buy your subscription, it tells you, and this one right here was $55 for a two-day pass. Access your subscription. Right here, service programming system. Now we can start SPS. Okay, now that everything is done downloading, this screen will pop up. Now we have a pass-through pro. It gives you your 2534. It recognizes it. And we're just going to reprogram the ECU. We're going to follow step-by-step -step instructions here. Da -da 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 -da. Turn vehicle off. Verify batteries fully charged. Turn the ignition on, engine off. Connect that to the DLC. Connect that to the PC. We've already done all this. I wait for the device to get ready. Um, I guess you can ask if it's ready. If not, I think mine's ready. Connecting to server, we have a okay. Chevrolet 2006 passenger car, Cobalt, with a 2.2, I believe it's the LSJ. Okay, I believe it's the L61. Communicating with the device. Yes, we have a go ahead on the L61. Now this will be as, as far as the VIN number. This will tell you what you have. Make sure that the VIN is correct. Now we have verified our VIN number. If you haven't verified your VIN number, make sure you do that. And we're going to reprogram the powertrain control module. Normal. Okay, we've already looked this up as well, but this is very, very critical. We do have a manual transmission. That We do have the P205-5516 tire size and your RPO codes is asking for NF7 or an NT7. Now you have all these other different options here. Now this is very, very critical. You have to, to view your RPO code. Sometimes they're in the dash, sometimes they're in the, in the trunk. In this case, this, in this vehicle, it was in the trunk. And RPO codes are your manufacturer option codes. They don't mean anything to, you, to me or you, but they mean something to the manufacturer. And this was something we had to once again verify and make sure of. We do have an RPO code NT7 with a manual transmission with this tire size. So that's the one we want to pick. Right here tells you right here new enhancements for a, this code new calibration for fuel level sensor diagnostics new calibration for a 171 and a p0326 which we also have and also fixes premature door lock issue on manual transmission vehicles which we also have this issue with this vehicle 
You want to read through these, new calibration for diagnostic enhancements for these codes and control module calibration. This is what it's taken care of. So it is selected here. This is the newest, or I'm sorry, this is our part number, I believe. Yes. And we're going to replace and program the PCM. We're going to try that method. Now it's going to let us program. So now it says reprogramming complete. That's pretty much all we need to know. Now all we have to do is let you drive the vehicle, confirm the codes are gone, and that's reprogramming. Thanks for watching. I'm Michael with Auto E Clinic. Have a great pumpkin day.